back at Groob Field. BR still at home plate with Coach Wandemacher. For the visitors, the 3-12 and 12 Big Green of Ottaville, Trey Landaware will be leading off and playing in the center field. Chase Langles will be batting second and playing at third base. Jaden Saxon batting third and at shortstop. Alex Seaver on the mound and hitting fourth. Keaton Schnipke will be hitting fifth and he'll be your DH. Grant Lease batting sixth and behind the plate. Brandon Savalage will be hitting seventh and playing in right field. Landon Hortzman will be batting eighth and he will be playing at shortstop and batting ninth. Zach Holbein and he will be at the first base. Nice one, Anthem. presentation of our national anthem here at Groove Field. Looking at the Rams defensively when they head out there literally any second. On the mound will be Hunter Bosselman behind the plate. Dalton Wolf from first base. Riley Peters. Eli Plasman at second. Caden Radzik is short. Taryn Ward will be at third. Rams outfield. Left field is Aiden Mosier. Center field, Grady Gusweiler, and then right field is Luke Harris. B.J. Morlock will be hitting for Riley Peters. And on the mound, Hunter Bossel, as we said, Hunter comes in with no record. Nine innings pitched for Hunter, ERA of 2.33. He's allowed seven runs overall, three earned runs, 12 hits for Hunter, five walks, and seven strikeouts for the sophomore right-hander, Hunter Bosselman. As we said during our signs excavating pregame, the Rams will be without the services of Alec Shoblin for the foreseeable future. Alec, unfortunately, broke his hand last Tuesday here versus Ayersville, sliding into third base. And his hand did not cooperate. And he will be sidelined probably for the rest of the season unfortunately for the Rams and head coach Brent Renouette. Rams 11 and 4, 5 and 2 in the GMC and the Big Green 3 and 12 overall and they are 2 and 3 in the PCL. Landaware will lead off hitting 138. Batting second will be Jace Langles 231 for Jace and your th number three hitter is Jaden Saxton, and Saxton comes in at 269. As a team, number 19, Ottaville, the big green, hitting 232. <laughs> On base percentage is 328 for Ottaville. <laughs> Landaware. Yes, no wind here for the first time in the history of. Tenor High School. <laughs> Bosselman winds it up. First pitch. Off speed breaking ball called. Strike one. We're underway here at 526. 63 degrees on your David Frank weather forecast. Bosselman winds it up. 0 1 pitch. Come on. Back this way it comes. So no balls and two strikes. 
Rams back home tomorrow facing Columbus Grove. Pitch is swung on by Landwehr, foul back. One ball and two strikes. In the match? Yeah. Awesome and winds it up, breaking ball off the forearm. So heading down to first base is Landwehr. Feinhouse steps in, 231 for Jace. Just underway here, 530 start for the Extended trip for Ottaville. Pitch of the ball. On Saturday, we're back here. Rams will face Patrick Henry. Balsamo looks at the runner at first, comes to the plate. Inside, there goes the runner. Throw down by Dalton Wolfram. Sails in the center field, stolen base. For Landwehr. Wolfram's going to go out there and have a conversation with Hunter Bosselman. Langhouse, two balls and no strikes. Jaden Saxton awaits on deck for the big green. Landwehr leads away from second. Bosselman, long look in. Gets the sign from Wolfram. Comes set. 2-0 pitch to Langhouse. Squares around the bunt. Bumps at first base side. Bosselin off the mound. Throws over the head of Peters off his glove. Scoring will be Landwehr. Sacrifice. Air on the throw. So Langhouse is on, on the air. Peters come rushing in. Come on here. Come on, fellas. Coach Brent Rillette. <laughs> I'm going to call timeout and go have a conversation with his infield. Ball is bunted first base side. Bosselman came and scooped it up. Peters also came in. And there was really nobody at first base. Peters tried to recover and get back to first base. Time he did throw hit off the top of his glove. And Langhouse was safe. Big green on top, one nothing. As Landauer scored the first run, Jaden Saxon steps in, 269. <laughs> I am too. I'll say, like I'll say, say that to myself. You've been with Ned again. <laughs> That'd be all right. At least she knows you. Conversation's over. Or BR. That's back to the third base dugout. Jackson steps in, bats from the right side. Come set, throw over, back safely. Was the runner where there, Langhouse? Thank you. <laughs> throw back over, head first dive by Langhouse, back safely. Bosselman comes set, comes to the plate, breaking ball, nice stop by Wolfram. Pitch catches the outside corner, evens the count, one ball, one strike. Nobody out here, about a half hour late. Start 5.30 start, like the usual 5 p.m. start. Big Greens have struck for one run. That one hammered in the gap. Whoa, or Mosier comes over and makes a nice running catch. To retire Jaden Saxon, hit it on the nose. 
Mosier in the left center gap. With a nice running catch for out number one. Back to first base goes Langhouse. Alex Seaver steps in. He'll be on the mound for the Big Green when they are on defense the bottom half of the inning. Seaver steps out. Schnipke is on deck. Keaton Schnipke will be your DH. Swing House of first base. Small lead over there. Bosselman comes set, comes to the plate, pitches low, ball one. That's all. Coach wanted to make her at first, and Coach Worst er, at third, and Coach Worst at first. So Coach Wanamaker's at third. 1 0 pitch, strike called. Wanamaker. That sounds like Buttermaker. <laughs> <laughs> one ball, one strike, one out. Big Green with a one nothing lead here in the top of the first. Pitch outside gets slips through the wickets on Wolfram down to second base goes Langhouse. Langhouse reached on an air and now goes down to second on a wild pitch. Count to Seaver is two balls and one strike. Rams coming off that disappointing loss to Kaleida on Saturday. Kaleida, a very good baseball team. They're 13 and three, I believe. 2-1 pitch, tapped foul at the plate. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. Just one out still here in the top of inning number one. Someone comes set, 2-2 two, two pitch coming to Seaver. Hits center field. Gus Weiler comes in, plays it on a hop. Can't make the play. Single by Seaver. Puts runners at first and third. Langhouse had to hold up to see if Greedy was going to catch it. Anybody that saw his catch from Saturday, anything's possible with Grady. Up to plate number 25, Keaton Schnipke. Keaton Schnipke steps in. Schnipke batting 200. Be your DH. Schnipke, 25 on his forest green jersey. Bats from the left side. Seaver leads away from first. Langhouse on at third. First pitch is outside. Ball one. Bosselman comes set. Looks over at the runner at first. 1 0 pitch to Schnipke. Strike called. One ball, one strike, one out. Big Green with a one nothing lead over the Rams. Possumans will one, one. There goes the runners, foul off third base side out of play. One ball and two strikes. Runner head back to first base, Alex Seaver. Sun was out most of the day till about noon. Now it's popping in and out. Mostly, mostly cloudy here. Throw over to first base. Peters slaps the tag on Seaver back safely as the runner. Bosselman's <laughs> one, two to Schnipke. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Down goes Schnipke swinging for the second out. I'll bring up Grant Lease. Up to the plate, number 10, the catcher, Grant Lee. Lee steps in 280 on the season. Bosselman comes set. Pitch is called a strike. No balls and one strike to Grant Lease. Runners at first and third for the big green. Bosselman's 0-1 tap 
first base side. Peters comes up, scoops it up, runs to the bag. Tags it for out number three, so Lease has retired three unassisted. In the inning, one run for the Big Green. They do so with one hit, one ram error, and two runners left on base. After a half inning of play here at Groovefield at Snore High School, Big Green of Ottaville won, and your Snore Rams will be coming to bat. The Adam Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Batten Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Matt and Stevens Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Back at Groom Field here, Big Green with a 1-0 lead for the Rams. Aiden Mosier will lead off. Playing in left field, batting second at shorts. Caden Radzik batting third. Behind the plate is Dalton Wolfram. Batting fourth at third base is Taryn Ward. Batting fifth in right field is Luke Harris. Batting sixth and on the mound was Hunter Bosselman. Batting seventh is B.J. Morlock. He is hitting for Riley Peters, who is playing at first base. Batting eighth is Eli Plasma at second. And hitting ninth in center field is Grady Gusweiler. Alex Seaver is on the mound. Grant Lees behind the plate. Zach Holman at first base. Andy Mormon at second. Jaden Saxon at short. Chase Langhouse at third. Landon Horseman is in left. Trey Landaware is in center. And then the right field for the big green is Brandon Kelvillage. Of course, I butcher that one too, probably like I did a few other ones. I tried to get some pronunciations before the game. <laughs> Sir Michael Sebring sending a couple of pronunciations, which also helps quite a bit. <laughs> so the Rams in search of career win number 400 here at Tenora for head coach Brent Renolette. 399 and 178 for BR. 446 overall wins for BR with 203 losses. Hayden Mosier steps in. The lefty hitting 310. Three runs batted in, but 14 steals for the Ram attack. Senior righty winds it up, fires first pitch, heads to the backstop through the legs of his catcher, Grant Lease, for a ball. Second pitch to Moser is called a strike. One ball and one strike to Aiden. Seaver winds it up with a 1 1 pitch to Mosier. Breaking ball outside corner. Strike two to Aiden. Seaver on the season. The ERA is 4.88. He's 1 and 2. 1 2 pitch. Long look in. Gets the sign from his catcher, Lease. Still waiting. Now he winds it up. Pitch coming outside. Count evens two balls and two strikes. Five and a third innings for Lease. 10 hits, 11 runs, 10 earn runs, walk five, and struck out five. 2-2 two, two pitch to Mosier, swung on a little soft liner. Ball safely in the right field for a base hit. Mosier leads off the Rams with a single. Going to bring up the Rams shortstop, Caden Radzik. Radzik, 438 with 19 runs batted in. Rams 321 as a team. A couple, about three, four games ago, actually hitting about 350. Antwerp and Kaleida. 
staff took a little bit of a hit to the Rams batting average. First pitch to Radzik. Called a strike. Mosier, definitely a threat to go. 14 stolen bases for Aiden. Nice lead over there. 0-1 pitch coming to Radzik. There he goes. Pitch is low. Lee scoops it up. Throws down in. Not in time. Mosier kind of slid around the tag. Nice slide by Aiden Mosier. Head first slide. Slid to the outfield side of the bag. Kind of spun around the tag. So Mosier picks up stolen base number 15. So Radzik with the runner in scoring position. Count to Caden is one ball and one strike. Seaver comes set. Radzik squares around the bunt. Bunts it foul. One ball and two strikes to Caden. Bottom of the first inning. Big Green lead the Rams here at Groove Field by a score of one to nothing. Half hour late start here with the little long drive for Ottaville. One ball and two strikes. Pitch to Radzik is outside. Two balls and two strikes. Last time we saw Ottaville, actually, I think they closed down the Ellen Moore Gymnasium in basketball. Two two pitch coming to Radzik. Seaver winds fires. Radzik hits a deep center field. Center fielder Langha. Where goes back, puts it away. Tagging up and heading down to third base is Aiden Mosier. So Radzik gave it a ride. Get him in now. Landware took about six, seven steps back. Put it away. Not a four. Aiden Mosier tagged up and headed down to third base. So Dalton Wolfram steps in. 392 for Dalton. 14 runs batted in. Runner at third, one out, pitch inside. Ball one. Wolfram was your Northwest Ohio Sports Player of the Week for his week last week. Pitch is low and outside. Nice stop by Grant Lease. Hi, Dalton. Nice set, fella. Two zero pitch to Wolfram. Swings, drives it to left field. Horseman underneath it. Mosier tags. Here comes the throws. Cut off by the shortstop. Mosier scores, standing up to tie the game at one. Now batting number four, Aaron Ward. Wolfram with a sacrifice fly to left field. Horseman's throw just threw it into the shortstop. Aaron Ward steps in. Aaron 356 with 11 runs batted in for the Rams. Seaver winds it up. First pitch outside corner, strike called. One pitch. Count evens, one ball and one strike. Seavers 1-1 one, one, to Ward. That one's low. Two balls and one strike. Rams have tied it at one here in the bottom of inning number one. One out, nobody on. Alex Seaver winds it up. His 2-1 to Terran Ward. Ward smashes into the center field. Nice running catch out there by Trey Langware to retire Ward and the Rams. But the Rams do tie it up. They get one run with one hit. No errors and no Rams left on base. After one inning of play here at Groove Field at Sonora High School, we are tied at one on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pawn loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give 
give them a call, 419-784-9880, or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com, or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say, go Rams. Back to the action on Sonora Rams Sports Live. Top of the second inning we go here at Groove Field at Tenor High School. Seven, eight, and nine. Kavalage, Hortzman, and Holbein to face Hunter Mosselman. Now batting number seven, the right fielder, Brandon Kavalage. Wind still non existent here at Snore High School. Kavalage, 318 on the season. First pitch is called a strike. Big Green with a unearned run in the first inning. Rams came back with a sacrifice fly by Dalton Wolfram to score Aiden Moser to tie it at one. That pitch is. Outside, one ball, one strike for Brandon Kavalage. Osselman's pitch, just a bit outside. Two balls and one strike. Come on here. Swung on and missed. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. Columbus Grove here tomorrow. Columbus Grove, I believe, is state ranked. Top 10, I do believe. 2-2 two -two pitch from Fosselman fouled straight back at us. Count stays. Two balls and two strikes. Top of the second inning. Tied at one. Fosselman's 2-2 two -two to Kavalich. Swung on and missed. Strike three. So Kvalich goes down swinging for route number one here in the top of the second inning for Ottaville. Landon Horseman, 182 on the season, digs in. Horseman playing at short for Coach Wanamaker. Bosselman winds it up. Breaking ball, strike called. You have seen that. That's a. They had that. You. <laughs> they had that with 01 pitch driven down the left field line foul <laughs> sounded like he hit it solidly just about five feet foul Fossilman's 02 swung on and missed strike three back to back strikeouts down goes Horseman for Bosselman, that's his third strikeout. <laughs> Holbein steps in. <laughs> so Zach Holbein, 353 on the season, steps in, playing at first base, hitting ninth for the Big Green. Bosselman's first pitch to Holbein is fouled off first base side, out of play. One pitch of the ball. Bosselman's 1-1. One, one. Two holding. Off-speed off speed pitch way out in front. One ball and two strikes. Two outs, nobody on here in the bottom of the bottom. Top of inning number two. One, two pitch by Bosselman to holding. That one's outside. Two balls and two strikes. Bosselman's 2-2, fouled back behind us. Breaking ball just a bit inside. Count goes full at three balls and two strikes to the number nine hitter, Zach Holbein. Bosselman's payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Holbein helped him out there. So Bosselman strikes out the side. 
Four strikeouts now for Hunter. In the inning for the Big Green, no runs, no hits, no ram errors, and no runners left on base after an inning and a half. A play here at Groove Field at Sonora High School on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Sonora one and Ottaville one. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenor Rams athletes this season. Back to Groove Field tied at one as we hit the bottom of inning number two. For the Rams, five, six, and seven, Luke Harris, Hunter Bosselman, and B.J. Morlock will be your three hitters to face Alex Seaver. Seaver, one of the four seniors on the big green. Meeting at the mound between the big green infield has ended. Harris steps in. 3.33 for Luke and nine runs batted in on the season. Rams 11 and four, finished their GMC season at five and two. Big Green three and 12. They'll have one more league game to go. They are two and three. Seaver, the senior righty. First pitch to the senior Luke Harris, strike called on the outside corner. Seaver's 0-1 to Harris. Count evens one ball and one strike. Thanks, everybody out there watching and listening. Mr. Michael Seabree, thanks for helping out. One one. Tapper shortstop side. Saxon up with it. Throws over in time to get Luke Harris. Six four or six three on the put out for out number one. Hunter Bosselman steps in. Bosselman two thirty three with ten runs batted in. You said during the signs excavating pregame, Rams are going to miss the presence of Alex Shoblin, both on the mound and at the plate. Shoblin was 5-0 and oh on the mound for the Rams, ERA of 1, and at the plate. Shoblin, two home runs. First pitch to Bosselman is inside, ball one. Seaver's pitch, straight called. One ball and one strike. Shoblin had 12 runs batted in as well. 1-1 one, one pitch to Hunter. It's low, two balls and one strike. Bottom of inning number two here from Groove Field, tight at one. Cheryl says the varsity Lady Rams are leading Hilltop 3-0. That's in the fifth inning. Smash into left field. Bosselman jumped on that one and drilled it between short and third for a solid single. That's a good game over there. Hilltop comes in with a very respectable record over there. So make up from, I think, last week. Maybe two weeks ago they were supposed to play. Coach Fairchild, a lot of changes that he sent me last night. I posted that earlier. One out. Also one on at first. B.J. Morlock steps in. Morlock, 136 on the season with three runs batted in. Seaver comes set. First pitch. Morlock, a little blooper into center field. Center fielder Langaware comes in, puts it away to retire. B.J. Morlock. Second out. Eli Plasman steps in. Eli, 286 with five runs batted in. A week ago, Eli on the mound shut down the Antwerp Archers. Well, them just one run. I believe on four hits. Two strikeouts for Plasman. First pitch to Eli is strike one called. 
Here we're tied at one in the bottom of inning number two. Wade Rams Senior Day will be here Saturday versus Swanton, I believe. <laughs> Pitch breaking ball. Plasman, little blooper in foul territory. Gets behind the fence. It's out of play. No balls and two strikes to Eli. Awesome on the first two outs. Plasma at the plate. Dustweiler on deck. Seaver comes set. There goes Bosselman. Yep. Uh, call a balk. Seaver came to a windup, and I think he realized it, and he kind of stopped. So down to second base is Bosselman on the balk. 0-2 pitch coming to Plasman. Little blooper over the second baseman's head. Falls in front of the right fielder. Bosselman hits third. He's coming home. He scores standing up. That ball comes back to haunt the big green. Eli Plasman with a little bloop single into right field. Collects an RBI. Rams grab a two to one lead. And bring up Grady Gusweiler. Grady in center field. 290 on the season. Six RBIs and four steals for Grady. 12 walks for Gusweiler. First pitch to Grady. Up and in, throw down to first base. Back with the head first dive is Plasman. I think one time going into the Saturday game, Grady walked four straight times at the plate. Combined two games, but still four straight at bats. 1-0 pitch coming to Grady. See where it comes set. Pitch outside corner. Strike called. And if you haven't done so, which I assume most everybody out there watching and listening has, you can see that fantastic catch Grady made Saturday at Kaleida. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's definitely worthy of a search, I assure you. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Grady. Low. Ball gets away from Weiss. Down to second base. Heads Plasma. Head first dive. Eli's in there. So the Rams with another runner in scoring position. This one on the wild pitch. No. Pitch before that, <laughs> Eli kind of stumbled at first base. He already had a sprained ankle, he said, from last Thursday. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so the count to Grady's two balls and one strike. Plasma with a lead from second. Seaver comes set. 2-1 to Grady. Swung, fouled off. First base side out of play. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the second inning. Rams with a two to one lead over the big green. Rams back here tomorrow. He said versus a very good, very talented Columbus Grove team. Seavers 2 2 coming to Grady. Fouls it back. Way to fight that off. Oh, all speeds pitch there. Grady was out in front. Nice, held his hands back. Caught up with the ball and. Foul the back to stay alive. It's a nice adjustment there, mid pitch, really. Top of the lineup, Aiden Mosier on deck for Tenora. Coach Renolette coaching at third base. At first base is Coach Tipton. 2 2 pitch coming to Gus Weiler. Just a bit outside. Count goes full at 3 and 2. Seaver comes set, looks back at Plasma in a second. Payoff pitch to Gus Weiler. Swung on, hit, short start. Third base side, third baseman comes in. Ball sneaks under his glove. Nice Langhouse came in. A little short hop. Slid underneath his glove. Plasma trots down to third. Gus Weiler on it first. Error on the third baseman. So Rams have runners at the corners with two outs. Aiden Moser at the plate. Grady, definitely a threat to go. Four steals on the season. Uh, Coach Renolent likes to try and steal a run here. Lady Rams with a 3 nothing lead. That's in the fifth. That's a reporter Cheryl reported earlier. Thank you, Cheryl. Seaver comes set. Gus Weiler takes off. Throw. Back to the pitcher. Seaver just... <laughs> Hangs on to it. Grady trying to bait him into throwing it. Seaver didn't want nothing of it. So Grady picks up stolen base. Number five. Rams with runners 
At second and third now, Compton Mosier is 1-0. and Seavers pitch was low, ball two. Two balls and no strikes to the Rams leadoff hitter, Aiden Mosier, Caden Radzik on deck. They're one ball and one strike. Like John, I missed one of those two. I thought it was two and up as well. One ball, one strike pitch to Mosier. Low, nice stop by Grant Lease to save a run. I don't know, but I can do it. Seaver leans in, gets the sign from his catcher, Lease. 2 1 pitch. Strike. Two called. Two balls and two strikes, two outs. Rather unique strike call by the home plate umpire. Very distinct. Kind of stands out a bit. <laughs> two two pitch coming to Mosier. Hit right back to Seaver. Scoops it up. Tosses it over to first base. Holving for out number three. One three on the put out. For the Rams, they take the lead. They get one run in the inning. They do so on two hits, one error, two left on base. After two innings of play here at Groove Field at Tenor High School, it's the Tenor Rams two and the you, Big Green from Otteville one on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Are you tired of losing money on your 401k or other retirement accounts? Well, you're not alone. Do what many area residents have done and call Postoma Insurance and Investments. With safe money strategies offered to you by PI&I, you can still have the benefits of market earnings without the risk of taking market loss. Sound too good to be true? Give us a call and with experienced agents at PI&I will work with you to understand how you can do just that. If you're more interested in the CD style accounts but are fed up with low CD rates, PI&I agents can set you up with an account with rates currently as high as 5.5% fixed with certain restrictions apply. Call us today at 419-782-2500 to help you set up a plan that meets your investment goals. That's 782-2500, Postuma Insurance and Investments, protecting everything you've worked for. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at Groove Field. Rams with a 2-1 to one lead as we head here. Sun starts to pop through. Up to the plate, number 19. Top of the lineup. Landwehr. Trey Landewehr steps in. Chase Langhouse to follow, and Jaden Saxon. Also, one struck out the side last inning. Has four strikeouts. Three, two innings. Hunter winds it up. First pitch is outside. Ball one. Landewehr was hit by a pitch and scored in the first inning. That run was unearned. Osselman's 1-0 pitch way outside. Two balls and no strikes. Otteville, we'll, as we said earlier, Otteville brought a very nice crowd over here to Groove Field here at Sonora High School. I think the visitors' bleachers are pretty much full. 2-0 pitch, fouled back. Strike one. Bosselman's 2-1, breaking ball off the, <laughs> off the shoulder again. Almost identical to what happened in the first inning. On the first base goes Landaware. Up to the plate, number three, Jace Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Jace Langhouse steps in. Reached on an error in the first inning. Got as far as third base. Possible one from the stretch. Pitches. Ground ball, short stipe side. Razik snags it, steps on the bag, oh. fires over to first play uh, first base in time for the double play. Radzik took the smash off the bat of Langhouse. Just in front of the bag, stepped on second base and fired over to Peters to complete the double play. Six unassisted over to three. Jaden Saxon steps in, flew out to Mosier in the first inning. Nice running catch by Mosier. First pitch to Saxon is a strike. Bosselman 
winds it up. His own one coming to the shortstop, Saxton. Way outside and over the head of Saxon Wolfram trying to make like a diving catch. Could not do so. One one pitch from Bosselman. Two Saxon is low. Two balls and one strike. Two one Rams here in the top of the third over the big green. Bosselman winds it up, his 2-1 pitch, swung on, hit right at Radzik to Hopper. Radzik, low Move. throws, gets behind Peters, heads to the fence. On the second base will go Saxton, there on Radzik, will put Saxton at second. Ball got caught up in the fence, automatic one more base. Up to the plate, number 11, Alex. Second error on the Rams. Receiver 269 singled in the first. Come on now. Runner at second, two outs for the big green. Rams with a two to one lead here in the top of inning number three. Bosselman looks back at the runner. Comes set. First pitch, tap foul at the plate. No balls and one strike. Unfortunately, Ottaville is on the old classic game changer, and they're not scoring that live. Bosselman yeah. comes set, no balls, and one pitch, or one strike. Pitch is foul back, strike two. So I kept looking and looking and looking, and then the coach handed me a lineup from game changer. I was like, I couldn't even find it. <laughs> So somehow, yes, they are under the old game changer, which, as John said, I didn't actually think that was even active anymore. Bosselman looks back at the runner at second. 0-2 pitch. Oh, blooper. Gus Weiler goes over. Harris goes over, falls in between them, scoring the tying run. This is Trey Landewehr. So that error comes back to haunt the Rams. Seaver with an RBI single. Keaton Schnipke steps in. Schnipke struck out in the first. Schnipke batting in number five spot. Your DH, he's hitting 200. Bosselman looks over at the runner at first. Comes set, steps off, fakes the throw as Seaver had first dived back in the first base safely. Lady Rams also not scoring the game live. Pitch in the dirt, I guess. Not really in the dirt, in the uh, in the rubber pellets. Bosselman's 1-0, outside corner, strike called, one ball and one strike, two outs. Runner at first, Big Green have tied the game at two here in the top of the third inning. Still no win here at Sonora High School, which is, as we said, very unusual. Bosselman's 1-1 to Schnipke, followed the plate, strike two. Yes, that's a, thank you, Michael. Yeah, there is only a handful of teams because I honestly didn't know it was even active either. Like, I haven't even honestly looked at it this year because I thought it was disabled. Bosselman's 1-2 to Schnipke. Swung on and missed. Schnipke goes down for the second straight time. In the inning, the Big Green tied up. They get another unearned run, and they do so on one base hit. Another Rams error. And one left on base after two and a half innings of play here at Groove Field here at Sonora High School. We are tied at two on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say owner? Yes. 
MEC is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. MEC is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. MEC has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the MEC family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, gain sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short-term and long-term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. If anybody's looking for a job, which some people are, <laughs> you know how to drive a forklift, make sure you visit mechcareers.com or go to the 21 Seneca Street lobby and they will hook you up. Back here, tied at two as we head to the bottom of inning number three. Two, three, and four for the Rams. Radzik, Wolfram, and Ward to face Alex Seaver. Seaver. Well, two runs and three hits through two innings of play. Lady Rams. Last update was from Cheryl. They lead Hilltop 3-0. Lady Rams will have senior day Saturday here versus Swanton. And in the draw, softball draw, they will play Swanton on the 12th at Sonora. That's a 5 p.m. start. Sectionals will start on May 12th. The boys draw, this is uh, coming up this Sunday. So hopefully the Rams can get a home game and head to Defiance thereafter. Last year, Rams made a heck of a run. That game versus Archibald was still one of the best games in quite some time. DJ Newman and Cason Wolfram won nothing was the final. Nolan Schaefer with a solo home run. I believe that was in the top of the fourth or fifth inning. Caden Radzik steps in first. Pitch from Seaver to Razik is called a strike. Razik flew out to Landaware in the first inning. Seaver's 0 1 to Razik is outside. Count evens one ball and one strike. Pittsburgh Sioux. Thanks for watching and listening as always. Seaver winds it up. 1 1 2 Razik. Nice breaking ball. Strike two called. One, two to Radzik, hits it hard. Nice diving stop by the shortstop. Play. Saxton throws it over, not in time. Radzik legs it out for an infield single. So, Caden Radzik starts the Rams third. Nice stop out there by Saxton. Dove third base side in the hole. Time he got up, fired over to first base. Not in time to get Radzik. Or bring up Dalton Wolfram. Heading into Saturday, Wolfram was the hottest hitter in the area. Steps in 350 or two or 392 with 14 runs batted in. Seaver comes set. Pitch to Wolfram. A bit inside. One ball and no strikes. Tight at two here in the bottom of the third. Radzik with the decent lead at first. Seaver looks over there. Radzik. Inches away farther. Stays put. Pitches outside. Court, or catches the corner. Strike one. Caden with five stolen bases on the season. Seavers 1-1 one, one, to Dolan Wolfram. Glances over at Razik. Now throws over there. Caden dives back in safely. Yep, plenty. Seaver comes set, 1-1 one, one to Dalton, low, two balls and one strike. All right, Dalton, right here. If you're old schoolers, Dalton kind of reminds you of the play like Gary Sheffield, has like constant bat movement. Yeah, for you, for you youngsters, 
do a YouTube video of Gary Sheffield. <laughs> Another throw over to first base, Caden back safely. Razik with an infield single to start the bottom of the third here. We're tied at two here at group field. Rams back here tomorrow versus Columbus Grove. Saturday versus Patrick Henry here as well. Seavers 2-1. Outside ball three. Three balls and one strike to the Rams backstop, Dalton Wolfram. Karen Ward awaits on deck. See if Radzik takes off with the pitch. Seaver comes set. Stays put. Pitch to Dalton. Hits it in the left center gap. Center fielder Langwehr over there puts it away. So Trey retires Wolfram. F8 for the first out. Karen Ward steps in. Ward. Also flew out to the center fielder in the first inning. The kind of to put us for land away. I think it's about four or five. Pitch to Ward, leans him back. One ball and no strikes. Taren 356 with 11 runs batted in on the season. 0 for 1 here today. Rams shortstop Radzik leads away from first. Alex Seaver comes set. There goes Radzik. Pitches a strike. Throw down. Not in time. Radzik in with his sixth stolen base. Yeah, but he doesn't throw it hard enough to get anybody out. I can see the whole thing. Well, Rams with a, the go-ahead run in scoring position with one out here in the bottom of the third. Ward at the plate. One ball, one strike. Is the count to him with one out. Senior righty Alex Seaver on the mound for the big green. He comes set. Ward asks for time. Umpire grants time. Ward steps out. Takes a glance down there at third base. Right, Coach Brent Renolette steps back in. Seaver, long look in, gets the sign from Lease. Looks back at the runner, now steps off the mound, takes a couple steps back on the slope and fires back to second base to Mormon. Mormon slaps a tag on Radzik. Radzik way ahead of the tag. Seaver's pitch coming to Ward. Breaking ball stays high and outside. Two balls and one strike to Terran Ward. Familiar voices downstairs here, Coach Rudder and Ned. Mr. Ned Federke. 2-1 pitch coming to Taryn Ward. Breaking ball just a bit high. Nice pitch by Seavers. Three balls and one strike. Three-one pitch. Ward swings away, skies it on the infield. Somebody's going to grab it. Seaver calls it. That's a tough catch by the pitcher, Alex Seaver. He called for it, and as he called for it, he had to take a couple steps back on the slope of the mound. And anybody that's ever done that, try to catch something on a slant, kind of lose your balance. But Seaver did a nice job there to put it away. Come on, Come on, Come on, get one through there. F1. So two outs now. Luke Harris steps in. Ground out to short. His first plate appearance. See where it comes set. Harris swings away, bloops it foul down the right side out of play. The ball's in one strike to the Rams right fielder, Luke Harris. 333 for Luke. Nine runs batted in. Perfect opportunity for his tenth run batted in here. Tied at two as the Rams bat. Caden Radzik at second. Two outs. Ned, longtime Little League coach back in his day, or Noble, I believe. Seaver comes set. Pitch to Harris, strike two call on the outside corner. Harris falls behind, no balls and two strikes. Luke played in this final basketball game this weekend. Heck of a career by Luke. 
18 points a game his senior season. Numerous all-star games for Luke. Won the three-point contest at Hicksville a couple weeks ago and also won the slam dunk contest over there all the same night. <laughs> Seavers 2-2 pitch coming to Harris. Radzik leads away. Seaver steps off. Radzik darts back to second base safely. Andy Mormon keeps sneaking in there behind Radzik. Mormon, the second baseman, trying to hold Radzik close. Seaver again looks back at Radzik. His 0-2 pitch coming to Harris. Breaking ball. Harris smashes it just outside the bag at third. Foul ball. Where are you going <laughs> but whoever, every time you hear somebody in, in good nature harassing the umpires down below, that's usually Ned. Only two things about Ned that are bad. He's yeah, a Yankee know. fan and a Steeler fan. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Talk about double whammy. Huh. How does that happen? <laughs> Bradzig at second leads away. Seaver's 0-2 pitch coming to Harris. No doubt about yeah. Swung on, <laughs> popped up on the infield. Second baseman Mormon comes in, puts it away to retire Harris. A four on the put out. Two straight pop ups on the infield with a runner at second base for the Rams. And they do not score for the Rams. No runs in the inning. They get one hit. No errors. And the Rams leave another run on base. After three innings of play here at Groove Field at Tenor High School, we are tied at two on your Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Have your hair and nails gotten out of control over the past few months? Cut and Polish Salon of Defiance is your local salon to get all pampered up. Cut and Polish Salon offers a vast range of quality services, including haircuts, highlights, specialty coloring, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. Please schedule a visit at their fun, relaxing salon where you can be sure that all of your hair and nail needs are a top priority. Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon is located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. Be sure to book your appointment today by calling 419-576-5087 or do your booking online by visiting their Facebook page. Cut and Polished Salon says, remember, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a nail. Cut and Polished Salon is a proud supporter of Tedora Rams Live. Back here at Groove Field, tight at two as we head to the fourth inning. On the hill for the Rams, Hunter Bosselman has gone the first three. Six, seven, and eight for the Big Green. Lease, Kellich, and Hortzman to face the sophomore righty, Hunter Bosselman. Now batting number 10, Grant. One run. In the first for the Big Green, they scored another in the third. Two runs on two hits, one error for Ottaville for the Rams. Two runs, four hits, and two huge errors for the Rams. Bosselman's first pitch, kind of a check swing. Down the middle, though. Strike on Grant Lease. I don't, I don't think it hit the bat. I just think it was an awkward check swing. Bosselman's 0-1 to lease. That was low and outside. One ball and one strike. Finally, decent day for baseball. Can't say it's beautiful. Sun's really not been out that much here. 63 degrees at first pitch. Near David Frank weather forecast. Bosselman's 1-1 to lease. High and away, ball two. Bosselman winds it up. 2-1 pitch outside and high. Three balls and one strike. Three one pitch check swing inside corner. Called strike two. Full count. Mr. Michael Hearn. And thank you. Michael Sebring, Michael Hearn, both listening in. Three two. Hit right back at Bosselman off his glove in the center field. Lease with a smash right back through the box. Starts the Big Green's fourth with a leadoff single. Now batting number seven, Brandon Cavillage. Cavillage steps in. 
0 for 1 struck out in the second. 318 on the season. Runner at first base, Lease. <coughs> Getting a little, little sliding gloves on. Kepler's 318, first pitch. It's a little nice stop by Dalton Wolfram. I was watching the NBA, which I saw himself me do the other night, and Don't squeeze it. I think it was the Nixon Heat. Very seldom do you see anybody on the court that doesn't have some sort of apparel, a sleeve or tights. This is like nobody that shows up just with shorts and a tank top to play. There goes the runner, pitch swung on and missed at the plate. Ball gets away, f was it fouled off? I don't think it was. It wasn't. The runner started to head back to first base, but uh, yeah, it was just a swing and miss. So a stolen base for Lee. He's down at second with nobody out. One ball and one strike. <laughs> Bosselman comes set. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on. Fouled off first base side. Peters giving chase. Runs out of room. Over the fence it goes. One ball, two strikes to Brandon Kulovich. Comes set, Osselman. Pitch is high, two balls and two strikes. Osselman, <coughs> long look in, gets the sign from Wolfram. 2-2 two -two pitch, swung on, fouled back. Count stays at two balls and two strikes. Nobody out here in the Big Green's top of the fourth. Tied at two here at Sonora High School's group field. Turf on the infield, natural grass on the outfield. Which anybody that's played here uh, definitely appreciates the turf infield. Swung on and miss. Kelvich goes down for the second straight time. That's the first out. Big out there by Bosselman. Plate number five, Landon Horstman. Don't know if Wanamaker, Coach Wanamaker, was going to sacrifice him over there, but he did not. Line drive, Landon, right up your gut. Landon Horstman steps in. Over one with a strikeout. Runner at second now with one out. <laughs> Bosselman looks back at the runner. Comes set. Comes to the plate. Outside corner. Strike call. Possilman's over one, swung on and missed right two. Possilman quickly ahead of Hortzman. No balls and two strikes. Hortzman bats from the right side of the plate. 182 on the season. O2 pitch coming. Swung on and missed. It's almost a repeat of the second inning. Possible got the first two batters via strikeout. The number nine hitter, Holbein, steps in. He also struck out in the second. Holbein, 353. On the season, the big green as a team is 232. Runner second leads away. Bosselman's pitch, strike called. Lease let off with a single. Stole second base. He was a second base with nobody out. Back to back strikeouts for Bosselman. Number nine hitter, Zach Holbein's at the plate. No balls in one strike. It's kind of on him. Here comes the pitch. Right away. That was fouled straight back. Bosselman quickly ahead. No balls and two strike. Bosselman came in. Nine innings pitched. ERA of 2.33. Three earn runs for Hunter. 12 hits, five walks, and seven strikeouts. Now has 11 strikeouts. Bosselman's 0 2 to Holby. Swung on and missed. It is a carbon copy of the second inning. 
Lead off single and stolen base does no damage for the big green here in the fourth. No runs, one hit, no ram errors, and one runner left on base. After three and a half innings here at Groove Field, we are tied at two on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419 419- 428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Bottom of the fourth we go here at Groove Field. We're about 90 minutes into the game as the sun finally pops through. I think for the second time here on this Thursday. Rams will send six, seven, and eight. Bosselman, Morlock, and Plasman to face Alex Seaver. Seaver, well, two runs on four hits. And Rams coming off that Saturday where they stranded 11 at Kaleida. Have stranded three through the first three here today. Seaver's finishing up his warm-up pitches in between innings. Coach Andrews heads down to first base. Coach BR, as we said, in search of career win 400 here at Tenora. Coaching at third. 71% winning percentage for BR in his career at Delta and Tenora. Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman, 233 coming into the contest. Reached first, went to second on the bulk, and scored on a Neelai Plasman bloop single win to right field. That was in the second inning. Possible with 10 runs batted in. Seaver gets a sign from Lease, winds it up. First pitch to Bosselman. Bosselman leans out of the way. Ball one. Seavers 1 0 to Bosselman. Swung on hit. Shortstop side. Saxon up with it. Tosses it over to first base to Holbeam to retire. Hunter Bosselman. 6 3 on the put out. B.J. Morlock will step in. Morlock DHing for Riley Peters. Morlock in the seventh spot, 136 on the season, flew out to Landwehr in the first or the second inning. Seaver's mm-hmm. pitch inside corner, straight called. Eli Plasman on deck for the Tenora Rams. Seaver's 0-1 coming. Strike two call. Nice breaking ball there by the senior, Alex Seaver. Well, five. Doesn't really use it a lot, but when necessary, it's very effective. Long look in. Finally gets a sign from his battery mate, Grant Lee. B.J. Morlock asks for time, steps out. Umpire grants some time. They said, B.J. Bottom of the fourth, tied at two. One out with nobody on for the Rams. Bottom part of the order. 0-2 to Morlock. A little shallow fly ball. Oh, nice running catch out there in left field by Landon Horseman. It's all Jaden Sachs. Uh, Saxton going out and Horseman coming in. Horseman with a nice running catch to retire Morlock. F8 on the put out. Out number two here in the fourth. Plasman with an RBI single in the second. 286 on the season for Eli. Six runs batted in. First pitch tapped foul into the Rams' dugout. Strike one. <laughs> Little safety fence in front of both dugouts here. They put that in probably, I don't want to say about three, four years ago. Turf was installed last fall. Looks very nice. 
They want a hot dog. No balls and one strike to the number eight hitter, second baseman, Eli Plasman. Seaver's pitch is outside to the backstop. It goes off the glove of Grant Lease. Count evens, one ball and one strike. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. On Eli. Like everybody else in Northwest Ohio probably mowed their grass this day some point in time. <laughs> the ones that had time. They couldn't mow for the last week. One one pitch is high and away. Ball two. Two balls and one strike. I finally mowed last night. I put it on the highest setting and basically mowed dandelions. Two one pitch. Coming from Seaver to Plasman, strike two called. Two balls, two strike, two outs, nobody on. Tied at two here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Big green, big green traveling in from Ottaville. Knock it all down, green, knock it all down. Two, two pitch coming from Eli. Long look in, Seaver nods, winds it up. Pitch is outside, ball three. Count is full to Plasman. Payoff pitch. Inside, swung on and miss. Ball gets away from Lease. Throw down the first base is in time to get Plasman one or two, three on the put out for out three. In the inning, Rams go quickly. No runs, no hits, no errors for the big green. And the Rams do not leave anybody on base. We're through four here at Groove Field at Tenora High School. Ottaville two and Tenora two on your drop zone Pete area scoreboard. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Okie Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okalona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okalona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419 419- 576-6894. Back here at Groove Field, top of the fifth we go. Hunter Bosselman has gone the distance. He has eight strikeouts for the Rams. Oh, I love it. Two runs, three hits, and one error for the big green. The Rams have two runs, four hits, and two huge errors, which have led to the two runs for Ottaville. It's changed hands. I think the same family that has it now is Bosselman winds it up. First pitch outside, swung on and missed the hole by Langwehr. Langwehr down, no balls and two strikes. Or one, no balls and one strike. He has scored both runs for Ottaville. That one's low. Count evens, one ball and one strike. Both resulted him reaching via hit by pitch and then an error. Both times resulted him in the scoring. He runs for the big green. One one hit under the glove of Bosselman. Plasman from second base slides in. Throw over, not in time. Landaware legs out an infield single. Third time he's been on. First official at bat there. A little soft liner back through the mound. Bosselman, I don't think he touched it. Hit the side of the mound. Plasman came in in the second base position, fielded it, threw it over to first base, not in time to get landed there. So for the third straight time, landed where is on base. Four steals for landed where. Well, five now and four coming in. First pitch to Langhouse. Wanted right back to the mound. Sacrifice is successful. 
Landewer down to second base. Langhouse is out 1-3 for the first out. Jaden Saxon, the number three hitter, going to dig in. He is 0 for 2. Flew out to Mosher in the first and reached on air in the third. So Landewer leads away from second. Saxton, 269 coming in. Wasselman comes set. First pitch hit right at Radzik at short. He looks to run her back. Caden throws over in time to Peters. The runner's going to try and get the third. Throw is in time. Bounced away from the Rams third baseman, Taryn Ward. So Landwehr is at third. Saxon grounded out six to three. Ground ball to Radzik. Radzik looked to run her back. He was actually on the base to, when Radzik released the ball. Peters, long throw over to Ward. The throw beat him. One hop, kind of handcuffed Taryn Ward at third. Sliding in was Landwehr into Ward. Didn't help the situation. So Landwehr is on third. That's the go-ahead run. Going to have a timeout. Coach Renolet going to go out to the mound and talk to Bosselman. <laughs> Activity in the Rams' bullpen. Corbin Castile down there. Corbin with a fantastic performance Saturday at Kaleida. Hard luck winner, 3-2 loss for Corbin. For the Rams, as we said, stranded 11. They have runners stranded every base. They have stranded 11 runners in the seven innings of play to a very good Kaleida team. Well, a very rough week for the Rams. They played, well, I guess, if you include Saturday, Kaleida. Tomorrow, Columbus Grove will head in, and then Saturday, Patrick Henry will be here. Tournament tune-up time for the Rams, and without Alex Shoblin, they're one of their big horses. Going to be a difficult run for Tenora. Pitches outside, nice stop by Wolfram. Runner at third, that's the go-ahead run. We are tied at two here in the top of the oh, fifth. It. Here it is, hit it. Seaver, two for two. RBI single in the third. Bosselman's pitch, outside, ball two. Let's go. Schnipke on deck for the big green. One pitch at a time all the way back. Here it is. The sophomore righty Bosselman gets the sign from Dalton Wolfram. 2 0 pitch coming. Outside strike called. Just barely caught the black on that one. Two balls in, one strike to Seaver. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. Bosselman winds it up with a runner at third. Pitch hit the center field. Gus Weiler comes in, has a plate on the hop. Big Green take the lead on the third straight single by Alex Seaver. Second RBI by Seaver. Third run by Landwehr. So Landwehr has scored all three runs. Up to the plate, number 25, Keaton Schnipke. Going to bring up the number five hitter, your DH, Keaton Schnipke. Schnipke 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. 3-2 Big Green here in the top of the fifth. Possumman looks over at the runner at first. Seaver comes set. Pitch blooped in to left field. Chipke just threw the bat at the ball. Little soft liner into left field for a base hit. Seaver stops at second. Hey, back, fellas. That's going to be it for Bosselman, maybe. Coach Bernalette's out of the dugout, and he's marching to the mound. So we'll have a pitching change with two outs here in the fifth inning. Big Green have taken a 3-2 to two lead over the Rams. We'll come back and give the information on Corbin Castile right after this timeout here on the Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. 
Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Back at Sonora, Hunter Mouselman exits Corwin Castillo's enters. So Castillo, 3-2 and two on the season, 27 innings pitch, allowed 19 runs, just 8 earned runs. Corwin's allowed 36 hits. Walk 10, struck out 28. ERA for Castillo is 2.07. The numbers for Bosselman once his official line is complete. He's responsible for the runners on base. Three runs, six hits for the Big Green. Both those or two runs are unearned. That is a run in the first and the third. Big Green with a 3-2 lead as they bat here in the fifth. Two outs and two on runners at first and second for Ottaville. Shipke on at first. Seaver on at second. The catcher. Grant Lease will step in. Now batting number 10, Grant Lease. Lease with a single and a stolen base in the fourth. Popped out to the first baseman in the first. 280 on the season for Lease. Lease. Steps in, bats from the right side of the plate. Four RBIs for Lease on the season. Big out here, needed by Castillo in relief. Time out. As for Lease at the plate, she steps out, takes a practice swing, steps back in. Castillo pitches from right in the middle of the pitching rubber. Runners lead from first and second. Castillo comes set, looks back at the runner at second. First pitch, swung on. Attaboy. Hit right at yeah. Grady Gusweiler in the center. Grady underneath it, puts it away. So one pitch for Castillo, and he gets the big out. In the inning for the Big Green, one run. Yeah. And the Big Green do that on three hits. No Ram errors and two left on base. After four and a half here at Groove Field, Big Green of Ottaville three and the Tenor Rams two on your Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. Don't forget to vote for your favorite eatery, french fry mechanic, and the Crescent News as their yearly best in region. And the Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted best pizza in the region two of the last three years. Firestone Tavern broke that in 2021 when they came back and Firestone Tavern won the best burgers in the area last year. And Harold and Liz at Drop Zone got back the best pizza award. So make sure you stop by any of our fantastic sponsors and make sure you get online and vote. Go to Crescent News and click on, it's right on like, if you go to crescentnews.com and I think it's the first thing that pops up is vote for your favorite. Or it's norramps.com, click on sponsors. All of our fantastic sponsors are listed there. Make sure you vote for them. They'd really appreciate it. Track in action. Saturday, that's at the Lamerson. That's one of the bigger events in the area every year. I think it's the 38th annual Lamerson over at Montpelier. Seaver's <laughs> first pitch to Gus Weiler is a ball. 
Nine, one, and two in the Rams batting order to face Alex Seaver. Seaver winds it up. His 102 Grady is a little bit low. Two balls and no strikes. Gus Weiler reached on an error in the second, stole the base. 290 on the season for Grady. Two will pitch from Seaver. Outside corner, called strike. Two balls and one strike. Bottom of the fifth, Big Green with a 3-2 lead over the Rams. Seaver's 2-1. Check swing, strike two called. No, he's going to appeal. Yes, he called it a strike. Looked like he went around, so counts two balls and two strikes to Gus Weiler. Seaver gets a sign from Lease. His 2-2 to Gus Weiler. Breaking ball hit right back through the middle. Solid base hit. Gus Weiler starts the Rams. Bottom of the fifth with a leadoff single. Always a threat to steal. Aiden Mosier steps in. Mosier, Rams leadoff hitter, playing in left field. Came in batting 3-10. Single, stole the base, and scored in the first inning. Grounded back to the pitcher in the second. Mosier bats from the left side. Seaver pitches, bunts third base side. Throw down to first base, not in time. Ball skipped into the first baseman. Holbein, Mosier with a perfectly placed bunt. Third base side, catcher Lease popped out. Fired low, scooped up by Holbein at first, but not in time. Rams with runners at first and second with nobody out. Caden Radzik at the plate. 438 for Caden coming in. Singled and stole the base. His last plate appearance flew off the center in the first. Seaver comes set as the sun goes back behind the clouds. Radzik bunts third base side. Seaver off the mound. Throws the first base. Nobody's over there. The first baseman came off the bag. I'm not sure what Zach Holbein was doing. First base. Holbein came off the bag, like way off the bag. Seaver came off the mound, fielded the ball. Fired over to first base. Holbein was about five feet off the bag, so an infield single, back-to-back -back infield singles, loaded the bases for the Rams. Three straight hits. Gus Weiler let it off with a smash back through the box. Mosier perfectly placed bump down third base side, and Radzik with a bunt single, third base side as well. So Wolfram will step in. Bases full Rams. 3-2 big green lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Coach Wanamaker comes out and has a conversation with his infield. Should have been an out on the play. Bunt third base side. Seaver, plenty of time through over there to the first baseman. He just wasn't standing on the base. Bases full of Rams. Wolfram at the plate. Dalton 0 for 2. Or actually 0 for 1 had a sacrifice in the first little blooper back to the mound Seaver puts it away for out number one retiring Wolfram that's a huge out he was jammed on the pitch swung away in a little blooper didn't get more than eight feet off the ground Seaver snagged it I'll bring up Taryn Ward Ward 0 for 2 356 for Taryn on the season Mason is still full of Rams one out now a huge out infield in at the corners for the big green middle at double play depth timeout at the plate ward steps out looks down at coach Renolette. what do you want here for Eddie green you got knock it down gus weiler the speedy gus weiler at third see what br likes to do here see where it comes set pitch smashed into left field for a solid hit scoring us gus weiler here comes Mosier. rams take the lead on the rbi single for taryn ward gus weiler scored the speedy Mosier was right behind him radzik had to hold on that second Rams grab a four to three lead over the big green here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Rams still with runners at first and second with one out. Luke Harris to the plate for the Rams. Harris 0 for two. 
333 on the season for Luke. Squirrels around the bunt, bunts at first base side. Seaver off the mound, throws down the first base just in time to get Harris. I think Harris was bunting on his own there. That wasn't a sacrifice. But moving up was the runners. Radzik down to third and Ward down to second. Harris is the second out of the inning. One, three on the put out. Going to bring up Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman in the first inning or the second inning singled and scored a run and grounded out to the shortstop in the fourth. 4-3, Rams over the big green of Ottaville here in the bottom of the fifth. Seaver winds it up. First pitch, ground ball, shortstop side. Saxon up with it. Low throw. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Reaching safely is Bossel, and that's going to load the bases. Error on the play. E6. He went down there. No. So Radzik scored on that play. Ward goes down to third. And Bosselman is on at first. Rams with three here in the fifth inning to grab a five to three lead. We have a pinch runner, Connor Wolfram, is going to come on and run for Hunter Bosselman at first base. So Connor checks in. B.J. Morlock to the plate. Rams probably going to try again. Try and, let's say tried earlier in the second, trying to steal a run here. But Big Green and Coach Wanamaker had that played perfectly. Catcher Lease just fired the ball back to Seaver. Here in Gusweiler tried to get caught in the rundown, and the Big Green did not fall for it. So, so expect the same thing here for Connor Wolf for a moment at first. Two outs. Runners at the corners. B.J. Morlock steps in. Um, Morlock over for 2. I, no, Both flyouts to the center fielder. Receiver comes set. First pitch is low. Ball 1. Um, uh, Wolfram. Oh, get try and caught in the run down. They kind of low. Police kind of jetted out halfway towards the mound. Ward took off for the plate. Then Lease realized um, no, yeah. Ward was jetting towards the plate. So Lease turned around and Ward went back to third base. <laughs> Wolfram with the stolen base goes down to second. One and O's the count to B.J. Morlock. Pitches a strike on the outside corner. Count evens on Morlock. One ball, one strike, two outs. Rams with runners at second and third. They have a five to three lead now here in the bottom of the fifth. Seaver's going to work out of the windup with a runner at second and third. Pitch coming to Morlock. Strike two called. Need a hit, buddy. Need a hit, buddy. Errors definitely have a lot to do with the score here today. One, two pitch from Seaver to Morlock. Hit right back to Seaver. He snags it under her hands in order to his first baseman Holbein to retire the Rams. One, three on the putout. The Rams send eight to the plate. They score three runs in the inning. They do so on four hits. One huge error for the big green and the Rams leave two more on base. Through five here at Groove Field at Tenora High School, the Tenora Rams five and the Big Green of Ottaville three. We'll be back right after this here on your Drop Zone Pete's Race Scoreboard. The Firestone Tavern in Defiance is anything but basic. In 2021, the Firestone Tavern was voted to have the best pizza in the area. Now, in 2022, they've been voted as the best burgers around. Firestone Tavern is the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so much more. Chef Aaron and his staff are here to serve nothing but the best. No plans after the big game? Stop out for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV you can ask for. Our back room and patio are available for events like birthdays, corporate lunches, parties, and much, much more during the week with a 25-person minimum. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, the hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Give the Firestone Tavern a call, 419-785-4015, or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the best to all the Tenora teams. Back at Tenora, Rams with a 5-3 lead here in the top of the sixth. And the first base is Trent Wimpkin. Wimpkin replaces Bosselman. Bosselman was the starter, actually moved the first base last inning after Castillo came in for the one pitch. So Hunter actually played 
one pitch at first base. And now Trent Wimpkin comes on at first base. Castillo remains in the game on the mound. Seth Corbin came in through one pitch and got a huge out in that top of the fifth, top of the sixth. We are. Seven, eight, nine to face Castillo for the big green. Castillo's first pitch is high. Ball one to Brandon Cavillage. 3-18 on the season. Hortzman to follow. And then Holbein. 1-0 is inside. Ball two. For those just joining us. Three runs on six hits. Two huge errors for the big green. And for the Rams, five runs. Eight hits and two huge errors for the Rams. Steele's pitch is low and away. Three balls and no strikes. To Cavillage. That's from the right side. Steele's 3 0. Strike. There you go. Called. Hit the bullseye on that one. Game started half hour, I guess not half hour late. It was scheduled. Removed to a 5.30 start. 3-1 pitch. Hit. Left field. Mosier takes a couple steps go. back and puts it away. Cavillage hit it right on the head. Right at Mosier in left. F7 on the put out for your first out in the sixth. Landon Hortzman steps in. Struck out. Actually, the bottom three. Cavillage, Hortzman, and Holbein are combined 0 for 2 with... Six strikeouts between them. They've all, well, now Cavillage is after that fly out to Mosier. But Horseman and Holbein have struck out each of their plate appearances. First pitch is a ball to Landon Horseman, the shortstop. There you go. 1 0 pitch is strike called. And that flag is still stiff. Look at that. We said there's no question on the ball or strike call with this umpire. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on and missed. Right two. Castillo ahead, one balls and two strikes to Landon Hortzman. Hortzman, 182 on the season. What the matter's wrong with you? He's been that way long time on him. Castillo gets a sign from Wolfram. Breaking ball, bit outside. Two balls and two strikes. As we said earlier, when we gave our David Frank weather, was 63 degrees at first pitch, and the flag has literally not moved in about three hours here. Steals 2-2, two, two, way up and away. Count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. And not to be repetitive, but like I said, anybody that's ever attended anything at Tenora High School, the wind is always blowing. Always. Swung on and missed. Down goes Horseman for the third straight time. Now batting number 17, Jack Holbein. Holbein steps in. Holbein is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts himself. Batting the number 9 slot, playing at first base, 353. Coming in, Castillo winds it up. First pitch, straight called. I think, I think the favor's in the picture. Castillo, very effective performance against a very good Wildcats team of Kaleida on Saturday. That 0 1 pitch is outside. One ball, one strike, two outs, nobody on here in the bottom of the six. Rams with three runs in the fifth have grabbed a five to three lead. Inside. No way. Holbein fouls it off. Looked like it was headed straight for his ribs. I don't know how he, don't know how he swung and missed. Like, I don't know how he swung and the ball misses ribs, I guess, to rephrase. Castillo gets the sign from Wolfram. Long look in, one, two pitch, breaking ball. Oh I'll right back it. here, I almost had it. That was right off, right off the batter's hand. And, and, and the umpire knows. Don't Top of the order is on deck. All's Langer done is scored three times and been on base all three times for the big green. Gonna keep him on the on deck circle. Swung on and miss. Down goes Holbein for the third straight time. First time, the Big Green go quickly, no runs for Ottaville. No hits, no ram errors, and the Big Green leave nobody on base. 
We're through five and a half here at Groove Field at Tenora High School. On your drop zone pizza arena scoreboard is the Tenora Rams five and the Big Green of Audeville three. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at FairchildFamilyChiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, proud members of the Tenor Athletic Boosters say go Rams. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Back at Tenora High School, we have a pitching change for the Big Green. Keaton Schnipke comes on the pitch for the Big Green. For Schnipke, comes in with an ERA of 8.25 on the season. Nine of the third innings pitch for Schnipke. He's allowed 14 hits, 12 runs, 11 earned runs. He's walked 10, struck out six. He's faced 56 batters in those nine in the third inning. So Keaton Schnipke is your new pitcher. Alex Seaver goes to second base. He was your pitcher. So Seaver from the mound to second. Eli Plasman's going to step in. Bottom part of the order for the Rams, then the top eight, nine, and one. Plasman with an RBI single in the second, struck out in the fourth. As we said, Coach Renolette in search of career win, career win, Tenora win 400. It is career 400th win here almost uh, two years ago. It's on May 1st, 2021 versus Patrick Henry. Now here on May the 4th, be with you. BR's in search of Tenora win 400. Schnipke winds it up. First pitch to Plasman is a strike. Coach Rowell at 399 and 178 here at Tenora in 23 seasons. Schnipke's 0-1 to Plasman. Low to the backstop it goes. Count evens one ball and one strike. Bottom of the six. Rams five. Big green of Otterville three. Nobody on for Tenora. Schnipke on in relief of Seaver, who pitched really well, honestly. Defense let him down. Strike oh, no, called. One ball and two strikes to Eli Plasman. Plasman a week ago shut down the Antwerp Archers, and Antwerp actually beat Wayne Trace in a non-conference game yesterday at Fort Wayne, where the Tin Caps play. Plasman's... Throws the bat at the ball, a little soft liner to the second baseman. Alex Seaver snags it to retire Plasman for out number one. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Grady Gusweiler steps in. Grady's been on base twice, reached on an error in the second, stole the base, and singled and scored in the fifth. Shipkey winds it up. First pitch coming to Gusweiler is low. Ball one. Well, Grady, it, fella. Back here tomorrow, Rams and the and Columbus Grove will be here. Bulldogs making a long drive in as well. One zero pitch to Gus Weiler just called a strike. Count evens, one ball and one strike, one out. Base is empty. Rams lead by two here in the bottom of the sixth. Top of the lineup for the Big Green in the seventh. Have that two-run lead. Breaking ball again. Nice pitch. This time by Schnipke. One ball and two strikes. Big smooch on the jaw. Schnipke winds it up. One, two to Gus Weiler. That one stays up and in. Count evens. Two balls and two strikes. 
Yeah. <laughs> Top of the Rams lineup, Aiden Mosier awaits on deck. Two two pitch coming to Grady. Fouls him back. Count stays at two balls and two strikes. My grade, you might get out one. No way. My buddy. Battle here. Gus Weiler resets, digs back in the box. Schnipke with a new ball, rubs it down. Gets back on top of the mound. 2-2 two -two pitch coming to Gus Weiler. Grady swings away, skies it on the infield. Shortstop calls it. Jaden Saxon puts it away for out number two. First two Rams are gone. Top of the Ram or top of the lineup for the Rams. Aiden Mosier. Mosier has scored two runs. It's two for three with his 15 stolen base of the season. That was in the first inning. Keaton oh, Shipke winds it up. First pitch coming to Mosier. Skips him back as the ball hits to the backstop. Ball one on Aiden. Oh, Caden oh, Radzik on deck for Tenora. One little pitch to Mosier is called a strike. One one to Aiden. Swung on, hit shortstop side. Saxon up with it. Double clutches just in time to get the speedy Mosier at first base. Can't really have no time for any sort of error when Aiden, especially batting from the left side, hustles down the line. Six three on the put out for out number three in the inning for the Rams. They go quickly as well. No runs, no hits, no big green errors, and the Rams leave nobody on base. Top of the seventh inning we go. 5-3 Rams on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Signs Excavating at Defiance offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs Excavating can assist with general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Signs Trucking Service can also assist in any of your equipment hauling needs. They're located at 2147 State Route 66. Signs Excavating, family owned and operated since 1999. For any excavating needs, give Josh a call at 419-769-2290. And for your trucking needs, bring up Brad, 419 419- 9481-3738. Be sure to visit them online at signsexcavating.com or signs excavating on Facebook. Signs Excavating wishes all the best to the Tenora Rams athletes. Back at Groove Field, three outs to go. Rams hold a five to three lead. Three runs, six hits, two airs for the big green of Ottaville for the Rams. Five runs, eight hits, and two airs. Just two of the runs are earned for Big Green. Columbus Grove, as you said, comes in uh, to Groove Field tomorrow, and Columbus Grove is 15-4, and four, and they are 6-0 and oh in the PCL. Columbus Grove and Clyda still have that May 2nd makeup game to come to uh, reschedule. They are, uh, Clyde is 5-0. and oh. Now batting number 19, Trey Landwehr. Top of the lineup, one, two, and three. Landwehr, Langhouse, and Saxton to face Corbin Castile. Well, as we said, Landwehr, all he's done is been on base three times, scored three runs, hit by pitch twice, and singled in the fifth. Castile, breaking ball, stays high and away. Ball one. Wimpkin, Plasman, Radzik, and Ward, the Rams infield. Ward. Still right drilled deep center field over the head of Gusweiler. Langwehr flying around the base pass. Stops at second. Ball hit over the head of Grady. He wasn't going to catch that one. So leadoff double by Landwehr to start the big green seventh. Langhouse. Digs in. Langhouse reached on an error in the first. He is 0 for 3. 231 on the season. Jaden Saxton on deck for the big green. Top 
of the seventh, 5-3 Tenora. Nobody out, runner a second. Really, the runner a second's irrelevant here with the Rams leading by two. Want to get the batter. Castillo pitches from the stretch. First pitch is outside, catches the corner, strike one. Langhouse. That's from the right side. Pitch, strike two. Castillo. Nice breaking ball by Corbin. Corbin went the distance Saturday at Clyde. got the tough luck loss in a 3-2 Wildcat win. The Rams stranded 11 runners Saturday. 0-2 pitch. From Lang, to Langhouse, swung on and miss. Ball's in the dirt. Dalton Wolfram comes out, puts the tag on Langhouse for out number one. Jaden Saxton, the number three hitter, shortstop, steps in. He is 0 for three. Reached on an error in the third. Runner at second base, Landwehr. Steele comes set. Back at the runner. Pitch coming to Saxon. Check swing. Strike called on the outside corner. Steele checks the runner a second. 0 oh 1 pitch coming. Check swing. A little bit outside. Count evens, one ball in, one strike, one out here in the top of the seventh. Sonora five, Ottaville three in a non-league contest. Out First time I can remember that we played Ottaville in baseball. I could not find anything, at least in the last 20 years. Castillo's 1-1. One, one. Strike called. Steel quickly ahead, one ball and two strikes to Jaden Saxon, Alex Seaver on deck. I said the last time I can remember anything involving Ottaville here, they played the season finale at the Ellen Moore Gymnasium three years ago, or four now. One, two pitch from Castile coming to Saxton. Breaking ball, hits shortstop side. Razik slides in front of it, throws across in time. Diving in the first base was Saxton. 6 3 on the put out, two outs. Alex Seaver. Seaver's been on base three times, three singles. He has two runs batted in. Keaton Schnipke on deck. Rams and Coach Renolette. One out away from their 12th victory and BR's 400th Tenor victory. Steele comes set, looks back at the runner a second. First pitch to Seaver. Strike on the outside corner. Guy on second base means nothing. Steaver steps back in. Steel comes set. 0 1 coming to Seaver. Just a bit outside. Count evens. Good place for that. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runner at second, 5-3 hey, Rams here in the top of the seventh inning here from Groove Field. Corbin Castile on a relief of Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman should get the win. Time out at the plate, ask for and granted to Seaver. Get the batter now, here we go. Get the batter. Here it is, hit it. Coach Rudder shouting words of encouragement. <laughs> Their pitch, yeah, boy. strike, yep. two call on the outside That's corner. Pitch. Big Green down to their final strike, trailing right by there. two. Here it is, hit it. <clears throat> Steele, long look in, gets the sign from Wolfram. Nods yes, one, two, pitch coming. Yes. yes. Tap nice. foul. Nice First that. base side. Seaver stays alive. Hits it right off the end of the bat. Everything's working. 
Never actually heard a final score on the Lady Rams from right Cheryl. Here. here it is hitting. They were ahead 3 nothing. That was in the fifth. Lady Rams home Saturday, senior day. Castile, 1-2 pitch coming. Tap her right one. back to him. Castile snags it. Lobs it over to first base in time to retire Seaver. 1-3 on the putout. That's career win number 400 for Coach Renouette here at Tenora. Thank you, everyone, for attending tonight's ball game. In the inning, to win tonight, no three. runs. Congratulations. One hit. Marks Coach Brent no errors and one left. Congratulations, Coach Renouette. On base, final. From Grew Field, Rams with a 5-3. When Tenora improves to 12 and 4, Ottaville falls to 3 and 13. Very competitive, very nice high school ball game here tonight. Stay tuned. Coming up, we will have the Bidlack Insurance and Investments post game show, and we will do it right after this time out. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenor Rams athletes this season. Welcome back to Tenor High School. Rams with a 5-3 victory again. Congratulations to the Rams head coach, Brent Renault. Career win, 400. Coach BR improves to 478 here at Tenor High School. That's quite an accomplishment for a high school baseball coach to win 400 games at one school. 447 career wins, 203 losses for BR. So again, congratulations to Rams head coach, Brett Renouette on his 400th career win here at Tenora High School. Things started out a little rough for the Rams. Big Green with one run in the first, grabbed a one nothing lead. Rams answered with a run of themselves. Game was tied at one to one after an inning of play. Second inning, Rams scored a single run to hop on top. Two to one, Big Green answered in the third, tied the game at two. Ottaville actually went ahead in the fifth where Trey Landwehr scored his third run to give the Big Green a 3-2 to two lead. Sonora came back in the bottom of the fifth with three runs. Mosier, Radzik, and Gus Weiler scoring the three runs. Taron Ward with a huge two-run single in that inning to break the tie. Big error in the inning as well by the Big Green. Several errors here by both teams actually came to play for uh, several unearned runs by both teams. And winner be Hunter Bosselman. Picks up his first win. And the lose, they lose. The loss goes to Alex Seaver. Stay tuned. Have the Pick me embroidery, player of the game. And we will do it right after this. The Adam Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Batten Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Matt and Stevens Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. 
Clubhouse Pizza in A is your small town alternative for happy food at a happy place. Featuring one of the area's best pizzas, Clubhouse Pizza in A will not disappoint. Wing Wednesdays, buffets on Thursday, happy hour on Friday. That's just a few of the things Clubhouse Pizza in A has for specials. Stop out after the game for amazing food, great drinks, and an awesome atmosphere. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or order some takeout at 419-658-2720. Come by for a visit at 210 East Main Street in Nay, or check them out on Facebook at Clubhouse Pizza Nay. Rachel and Jason Gilliam and the great staff at Clubhouse Pizza in Nay are proud supporters of the Rams. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street, right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Play of the game award back here at Groove Field at Coach Renolette with career win or career win. I keep saying career win. Tenora win 400 on the season 400 and 178 here at Tenora for BR. Rams pick up win 12. They go to 12 and 4 on the season while the big green falls to. 3 and 13. Higby Embroidery, player of the game. We're just going to give it to Coach BR. I mean, you're, you win 400 games at a school. And that's that's quite an accomplishment. I don't care who you are, where you're from. You win 400 games at a high school. To stay at a school 23 years is quite an accomplish alone. In high school baseball, there are some good coaches in the area, but we're lucky to have one of the best here in Coach Renouette. Congratulations. So, Rigby Embroidery Player of the Game will go to Rams head coach Brent Renouette for his Tenora win, career win, career win at Tenora 400. So, congratulations, BR. Rams five runs, eight hits, two errors. They leave five on base. And for the Big Green of Ottaville, three runs, six hits, two errors, and they leave six on base. Winner, Hunter Bosselman. Loser, Alex Seaver. Thank you for listening. We'll be back here tomorrow, weather permitting this. Hope we're back here tomorrow. It looks like we could get the game in. If not, we'll be back here Saturday versus Patrick Henry. Thanks to our sponsors. BSN Sports, Weber Bookkeeping, Maumee Valley Title Agency, Clubhouse Pizza and a Fairchild Family Chiropractic, Optimal Performance and Fitness, Drop Zone Pizzeria and Striker and Earsville, Higby Embroidery, Signs Excavating, Firestone Tavern, Oklahoma Tavern, Northwest Ohio Sports, Bat and Stevens Body Shop, Tomorrow Rams Athletic Boosters, Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon, Wooden Indian Pawn Shop, Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, Wiener Hill Weber and Stanley Attorneys at Law, Postuma Insurance and Investments, and Mayfield Engineering Corporation. Start your MEC career today. Go to MECCareers.com. Thank you for listening. We'll see everybody back here tomorrow. So have a good night, everybody. Again, congratulations to BR as the Rams pick up their 12th win and uh, Coach Rowlett with his 400th win here at Tenor High School. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action and follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.